Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. I did not want to play this deck again, because this deck is just so... <laughs> my, uh, my fears that I had before filming the last video were uh, basically exemplified and, like, confirmed in that video of, like, you just, you get your starter card stopped and you just lose! Um, so, like, mmm... I'm not really too happy about this deck. I feel like any deck that has more starter cards than this one, or at least like better cohesive plays, is just better than this deck. As I legitimately think Black Wings are probably better than this deck as far as its core functionality in terms of how it could handle the format. And my opinions on Black Wings are known far and wide amongst the land of Black Wings suck. It's 2017. Um, and so I think that Black Wings are probably better than this deck. Now, definitely, there are probably some things that could probably change about this list. The Tar Terrain could probably get dropped uh, for something like the Brilliant Fusion Engine, uh, and that would allow uh, some differing things to occur. Also, these traps could get cut to beef up the monster lineup a bit, uh, potentially. Uh, same with the pre preps, if those go along with the uh, Tar Tray stuff. Uh, the monster lineup can get beefed up. But I mean, flip-flop control and flip-flop control is not what needs to sustain a deck in 2017 that's the biggest issue um, sub Fiendus is a fantastic card people seem to think that I don't like this card the people that I talked to in my discord chat seem to think that I was like but you thought sub Fiendus was good uh, like literally yesterday I was like yes I still think the card is good I think that I've never seen a better support card go to a worse archetype in my life. <laughs> That's what I think right now, as far as this card. But anyway, I'm not going to ramble on any further. I'm just going to jump into the game, and we're going to see if we can squeeze out a win with this deck. I am not hopeful in, in any way, shape, or form. This entire thing is so fragile. Um, I don't even know what to even make of it anymore, honestly. But enough of that. Let's just jump straight into the game and see what results we can gather from this one, shall we? Not in the habit of sugarcoating shit at all. We're going to see what results we get, and we're going to go with it. All right, as much as I don't want to, we're giving this another shot. And now I've lost drop, paper, scissors, which is incredibly important, because that means I'm probably going to lose. However, I do have Fiendus. I do have a Raigeki, which could end up being incredibly important. The fact that I'm going second compounds this, because of the fact that I get to probably nuke a board. Uh, but, okay, so here's an Ice Bell. But Ice Bell being on the board is good. That means that... Uh, I'm gonna not be dealing with a Makaba if he's playing Invoked, but I am gonna be dealing with an indestructible crystal. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, I'm pretty sure that like kills this deck entirely. Um, but mm, what I can do is I can, uh, depending on what I draw, right? I can uh, I can use the Hidden City to add another copy of Fiendus, and then I can use Fiendus to negate. The, uh, the crystal wings effect to negate whatever my monster effect is that I end up doing. Uh, but goddamn, this is like, this is such a hard counter for this deck. Ooh, and a Terra Top! Neat! Um, what are you doing? What are you making? I don't know what deck you're playing, but you're playing Wind Witches and Speedroids, which is really unconventional to a certain degree. Uh, cause you can't make a rank 3 here because of Ice Bell's restriction. You're actually using this attribute off for a tuner. I mean, that, that works in line with Ice Bell's restriction, so I guess, cool. Um, so this can make this up to level 6. Uh, so what level are you actually making it? You're making it 6, okay. Uh, so am I just dealing with Crystal Wing and Clear Wing? Is that what's happening? I mean, alright, this is exactly what I'm dealing with, okay. Uh, well, I can Raigeki this away, so that's not even that big of an issue. This back row could be something relevant. Okay, that's actually really good. That's what I needed. I needed something like that to happen. Uh, now, this allows me to do this. This just banishes the card, right? Um, it's, uh, yeah, target a monster your opponent controls and banish it. Okay, so I'm just gonna Raigeki first. Uh, get this Crystal Wing off the board. So it's not messing up my, my, uh, my mojo, my plans. Uh, and then we'll activate the Hidden City. We'll use the Hidden City to add another copy of Subterra Fiendus. Uh, because we're specifically going to normal summon a Fiendus attempt to use its effect and then we're going to uh, we're going to um, summon the Uma Strix from hand and that will be how this works so yeah we'll normal summon this uh, try to use its effect if crystal wing negates then I'll be able to use Fiendus um, and this Fiendus uh, would um, would uh, do this this these all these all miss timing on their special summon effects from hand I believe because they're win optional 
Uh, so we'll see what happens here, as far as uh, as far as how this goes. Is you are you letting it resolve? He's letting it resolve. Oh, fucking amazing. Okay, that was exactly what I needed to happen. <laughs> I needed it to resolve <laughs> because then this comes out face down, which means I get to use the hidden city to flip this face up. Um, and when I use this to flip this face up, why are you twin twistering now? Why didn't you twin twister when I activated it so that I wouldn't get a search? That's some bullshit. <laughs> that is the biggest. What? Whoa, what? No! You cannot expect me to believe. Why did you not twin twister it on activation if you're just gonna twin twister it there? You gave me a free card. It still probably doesn't matter though, because I'm still dealing with this fucking crystal wing. <laughs> Let's be completely real here. But why? Somebody explain to me why that was the interaction. I don't think there was any reason for you to hold that twin twister for that interaction. Because I would be down a fiendus. You were removing the starter card from my possession. <laughs> I'm really confused. Alright, thanks. Upstart, you gave me back basically all the damage that Wind Witch did. So that's neat. Um, okay. So he's attacking this. This is going to flip. Uh, I'm going to use its effect. Um, hmm... Hmm, 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 I can use this to just, like, negate that. Um, but that would be stupid. Yeah, that's, that's, that's stupid. Yeah, we're just gonna use this. We're gonna use this here. Um, but this can activate in damage step because it can negate, specifically. Um, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna try and negate it. And then, will we get the Fiendus? No, we won't. Because this is already counted as destroyed at the end of the damage calculation, so there's no sub-terror to, uh, to flip face down. Or at least that's how I think that interaction works. I could just be wrong. I could 100% be wrong. And often have been, in the past. But, what we've got here as a situation is that I have, um, this... I can flip this face up. I really want to special this terror top, but I am not going to be able to. Uh, that's going to suck. Absolutely awful. Um, I could flip this. I could flip summon this. Okay, here's the play. Alright. At least this is what I think the play is. <laughs> no. Um, flip summon this. Wait, why did I flip this? Solemn warning? Yes, sure! Thank fucking Christ, yes! Okay, we'll, we'll mess with this. Um, I'm gonna special this Terra Top, and as long as the Terra Top goes through, as long as its effect happens, right? If its effect happens, and I get to search this Takatom Borg, my very next action is Normal Summon Nemesis Warrior. Fuck! Damn it! I thought I could outplay him, because the first time he literally just didn't do anything. He didn't negate my Fiendus with Crystal Wing, when he could have, very easily. Um, and I was just hoping that he wouldn't negate again. Um, but so, uh, I can special summon a sub terror from my hand or graveyard off of, off of this. Uh, but it's not gonna be, oh, it's not gonna be good. Uh, fuck. This is such a problem. This is such a fucking issue! God! Um, I can flip this face down, get my Umastrix back, but then it's just gonna sit there and get killed by the Crystal Wing next turn. <sighs> this is such a problem. How did you hold that Twin Twister? I'm still so mind boggled by that, too. I'm just tilted. I'm super tilted by that. Like, the fact that you just didn't Twin Twister on activation, and then just took the raw minus one afterwards, uh, when you could have prevented me from getting a search. That's what gets me. That's the thing that gets me. Oh, yes! Yes, another Tara Tray, yes. Good. Good, good. Good, yes. Yes, yes, good. You know what? <laughs> I'm just fucking done with it at this point. I can't even deal with this anymore. Um, the Prediction Princesses are, like, the only thing that, like, make this deck remar remotely playable. They might, they might get replaced for, like, the Brilliant Fusion Engine, honestly. Um, but even then, like, the Brilliant Fusion Engine doesn't really seem like it'd do that much other than just fuel Nemesis Warrior. Uh, the Hidden City. Let's see if there's another Twin Twister face down that doesn't get activated on activation. If you activate Twin Twister on this activation, I'm just gonna think that you're silly. 
Um, wait, <laughs> that's all that it's gonna amount to. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another copy of uh, Fiendus to hand, because he still has no knowledge of this one in my hand. Uh, so we're gonna get this copy of Fiendus. Uh, we're gonna normal summon the one that we just searched, essentially, as far as how it looks on paper. And then we're gonna activate this, try to put it face down to special summon my Umastrix from Grave, and see how that goes. Call the Haunted here on... Okay. Alright, well this is fine, because what this allows me to do is... This is so fine. This Crystal Wing isn't gonna matter. Made. I'm sorry, but we're, we're about to we're about to give you the dicking. Um, this, this is what we're about to give you. Uh, because I get to flip this face up. And in the process... WHY DO YOU KEEP DOING THIS?! WHY DO YOU KEEP DOING THIS?! WHY DO YOU NOT TWIN TWISTER WHEN I ACTIVATE IT SO I DON'T GET A SEARCH?! WHY DOES THIS KEEP HAPPENING?! I'm so fucking tilted and so mad right now. Actually enraged. This is so fucked. <laughs> oh my god. The only saving grace to this is that I think that my Nemesis Warrior still comes back even when it's flipped um, from uh, from attacking. Um, let's see. If a sub terror Behemoth is flipped face up, yeah. So, what it'll be able to do is when he attacks this, this will flip face up, and what should happen is that my Umastrix should be able to activate, and then my Nemesis Warrior should be able to activate, bypassing this Crystal Wing. Um, which, uh, which I could do. Let's see, this it negates the effect or negates the card's effect? Negate the activation. That's what happens. Um, so what happens here is that this will gain attack for no reason. Um, oh god, why? Why is it frozen? Why is it frozen? There we go. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll target this crystal wing, and I believe my nemesis war archer just doesn't come back. Um... Yeah, why does it just not come back? It was flipped face up. I guess it just doesn't come back in the damage step? I don't know. This is so ridiculous. I've gotten Twin Twister twice in the worst possible situation because of the fact that he could have Twin Twister beforehand and prevented me from searching any cards. He has taken the raw minus one twice and it has not mattered. I am so fucking triggered by how shit this sub terror deck is, but also by just how Suboptimally, my opponent is playing his cards, but it doesn't matter because my deck is actually just trash because it's sub terrors. Holy fucking shit! I'm actually really, really upset. I'm really triggered. I'm really mad, and I really do not want to play this deck anymore. <laughs> oh my god, Black Wings is better than this, and Black Wings are ass. I've never seen a better support card go to a worse deck in my life, and I cannot believe that there are people out in the community that actually are like, hey man, this deck is super viable. How? How is this deck super viable? It's literally worse Shadal's. <laughs> at least Shadal's have a powerful card called Shadal Fusion, and at least they get all their shit when they get sent to Graveyard as well. This deck is a mismatch of nonsense that doesn't matter. I'm so actually triggered right now, so actually upset, cannot comprehend the amount of tilt in my neck right now as it is tensing and twisting upon itself from the actual rage I am holding back. The seething, seething hatred. Why do you not Twin Twister the Hidden City upon activation? Who just doesn't do that? Do you let Union Hanger resolve too? Do you let Reckless Magic Circle, Magical Meltdown resolve too? Do you just let me search my cards and then Twin Twister it? Is that how you play the game, Dance King? I don't understand. How is this a thing that happens? I don't understand how you could literally do that twice in a row and then you don't negate a card and then you do negate a card because you realize, oh wait, that was probably not the way to do this. Probably should have stopped it the first time, huh? But, oh, Fucking hell, I'm actually so upset and so agitated right now. Oh, this deck is sub sub terrible. Sub terrors, they are sub terrible. I do not think I will ever play this deck again unless they literally get a behemoth that is so amazingly broken that it can act as a starter card and a boss monster because that's what this deck needs. It needs more starter cards and it needs more monsters that actually matter. It needs a trap that can flip things up on your opponent's turn that is searchable. It needs so many different things. 
Oh my god. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly giveaway that's happening at the end of this month. So if you want details on that, definitely go check out Patreon itself, the Patreon page, and check out the reward tiers. There's also a way to get into my personal Discord server to talk with me on a daily basis. I bet your ass I'm about to go talk to Dance King and ask him why the fuck he never twin twisters on activation so I don't get searches. You bet your ass I'm about to go ask him that question right fucking now oh but i'm giving away a box of maximum crisis at the end of this month once it hits stores so it'll be like a week into may when i do the giveaway video but i'm doing a box of maximum crisis so the people that support me on patreon throughout this month so definitely if you're interested go check out patreon but if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel then be sure to check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel i'm a big fan of how they do business what i've dealt with thus far with pricing and shipping and all that definitely check out their site and let them know that phoenix sent you but other than that that is it for this video again thanks for watching I'm upset, thanks for your time, I'm enraged, and as usual guys, take care, I need to go take a fucking nap.